morning, y'all. Usually I tell y'all to come on in the kitchen. Well, this morning, I'm gonna say, y'all don't go in the kitchen. Don't come in the kitchen because I wanna take y'all outside to the dock because Michael and Michelle loaded the crab baskets up and we're fixing to pull those baskets up and see how many crabs we got. So, here we go. I think Michael said last night he put like five baskets in. So, we'll see. So, y'all come on down to the dock with me. It, it looks like rain could happen, but I don't know. It's been drizzling. But I think we can get those crabs up before it gets too, too wet. And I'm so excited. Uh Anybody fortunate enough to, to live on salt water and go crabbing, it's, it's just the most fun thing. And I especially love uh, string crabbing, which is how you teach your child to crab the first time around. You tie a chicken neck on a string and you just tie the, uh, tie the string so they can put it on their arm and drop it and start pulling up crabs, and they are so cute when they do that. I think that's still my favorite way to crab. So Michael and Michelle are down here. They're waiting on me to bring them the basket because we have to have something to put the crabs in. Hey, <laughs> hey! Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. I'm so glad you're here because she helps her daddy with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff, y'all. But I'm telling you, this girl makes the best crab cake I've ever put in my mouth. And I will not make them. She has to make them. <laughs> so I hope we got some crabs so she can do it. Where's the dolphins? Where's the dolphins? Where? Coming? Where's the do Oh, are you? Yeah. She's right there. Right there, Eddie. Yeah, and you know, it's the same one that he has a little piece missing off his. Oh, fence. we always call him Jimmy. Jimmy? That's, Henry says that's his pet. I don't pet. know why. Hey, hey. Henry says that's his pet. He lives, he lives here definitely. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Jimmy, come on back up. Um, <laughs> I just told dad we saw the loggerhead sea turtle three times this weekend. No. Mm -hmm. I saw his whole shell yesterday. No. Uh, Y'all, that is. Oh, I heard some. Yeah. I can hear them if things are quiet. I can hear him blow. Mm -hmm. When he comes by, you know, and I don't know, you know that story about your grandmother. Oh, yeah. Where is he? He's down by the screened in dot now on the inside. Oh, okay. Probably too far for to see on the video. Yeah. Okay, we're going to pull this one up first. This, this one's okay. been in the longest. Oh. Gosh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, about grandma thinking there was somebody oh, yeah. on the porch. <laughs> yeah, she slept when your granddaddy brought her here as a bride. She slept with the windows open. Well, we didn't have air conditioning. Yeah, I didn't have air conditioning. And uh, her grandfather worked on the railroad, so okay, he, he worked some crazy hours. And uh, Michael's. Oh, oh get around there so you can see, Eddie. Oh, that's a basket. <laughs> That's a pretty good mess. Wow, wow. How many crab cakes can we get, Michelle, from that? <laughs> Whoa. Yes, sit them down. Ooh, they, they stink, don't they? Yeah. It's the bait that stinks. Yeah. And that's what they like, don't they? Mm-hmm. What can I help you do? Okay, there's the hole. You can cook the crab. No, your daughter is gonna cook these crabs. Put her down. Okay. Whoa! This girl right here, y'all, she is a river girl. Uh, if I was gonna be stranded in a boat. No, we need Henry. <laughs> Well, Henry's like you, he can do anything too, but. Uh, 
Henry would uh make sure we ate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's gonna catch something. You know what? I can't believe there's not a stone crab in there. There was one in this truck over there oh, yesterday. I told Dad the only reason we got three in there is because Henry wouldn't leave it in the water long enough. Yeah. <laughs> he gets anxious, doesn't he? There we go. Put that near a live crab. Years ago, there was an old. Beautiful. Years ago, there was an old man that we used to get our bait from. Uh huh. Off a shrimp boat called Evelyn May. Uh huh. And uh, he was a little short man. He was about this big. Uh huh. But his hands were this big, and he would he would reach down there and grab the crabs. <laughs> And they would bite his hands and he'd just shake his hand. We had three or four of them biting him at one time. And I've have had I've had him bite me and they'd make you cry. I mean <laughs> so his, so his hands were like leather. His hands were so big, were they swollen from all the crab bites? No, he he just worked so hard. His hands were like leather from the But shrimp you said and the crabs. they were big. I don't know why. Well, he just had big hands. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm, so I'm gonna good. You're gonna put that back. Yeah, had enough bait in it to go back. Good. All right, Michelle, how long do you think it will take to pick that that many crabs? Uh, not long. That's what I was about a dozen. She's a great picker too. <laughs> An hour. <laughs> An hour. It would take me three three times that long. Oh, look at the flies already getting on them. Uh, if you if you don't pull, all right. Now what is that I'm looking at, uh, Michelle? Do you have the or that stick? Yeah, I'm trying to see. If you leave them in there too long and the food gets eaten, the crabs will start eating each other. So what is that, right? Right. Oh, that's just part of the bait. Oh, okay. So it's not a yeah, crab eating a, a crab. No, no, oh, no. okay. No, you pull them out before okay, they do that. Check yeah. Yes. Henry Groover would be so upset if he knew we were doing this, wouldn't he? <laughs> what? Uh -uh. I, I, I call him Henry Groover. <laughs> I know what you meant. <laughs> Henry Reed. Well, there was, was a Henry after. Groover. <laughs> he was named after his g grandfather, Henry Groover. Not in that one or? Couple. Now, see, this one's only been in a day, so. Yeah. Not as many. Yeah. But they're pretty. Now look how big that look, one is. Look, the fish have fallen out, haven't they? No, I, I actually put a couple in there so they could eat. Oh, them. just loose. What do you think the ages of those crabs are? How long does it take them to get to eating size? I don't know. I don't think. I don't think crabs last long. You saying they grow pretty quickly? Yeah. So this is two baskets down, y'all, and I think Michael said he had three more to go. Oh man, that is a big one. I'm not gonna shake it too much. I don't want that bait to get in there. <laughs> Come on, we wanna take you to the dance, Mr. Crab. <laughs> That's a big one. What can I can I help? There. Is that both of them? Yeah. And the rest is bait. Look at that. They have eaten those fish to the nothing but bones, y'all. And those are nasty fish. They're oh. called pogies, but they're um, they're uh, Did real. Did Henry catch those? They're real oily. No, that's what the professional crabbers use. Oh. Matter of fact, that's what we used to get off the old shrimp boat that mm -hmm. I was telling you about. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, let's look through them, Michelle, and see if we've got any throwbacks. Have y'all seen the um, blue heron up in your tree with the nest? We saw the baby no! yesterday. 
Baby's just hatched. No, Yeah, no, we pulled no. up in the boat and um, that big one started squawking and we uh -uh. looked up and saw the baby for the first time. Uh-uh, now which which tree is the nest in? This first one or this, this one right here? See this little hole right here? Little uh -huh. hole is? Uh-huh. That's where he sits right here. And he oh, lives on the dock. Well, he, I knew you told me the other day there was a blue herring. And he that poops on my boat. <laughs> <laughs> and I put an owl there to keep the keep him away. Uh-huh. And the head spins, so... So it looks like it's real. Uh huh. He was standing on the head the other day. <laughs> he was real scared, wasn't he? <laughs> it, it, he is not scared of that at all. <laughs> Look, it, that's not him, is it? Going? No. Dad, are you that pulling these two? Seagulls. Yeah. Well, I want to see the babies. Uh uh, Lulu, come back. I can't wait till the babies start pooping on my boat. <laughs> Michael uh, loves his boat, y'all. All right, Eddie, get up there so you can sleep. Uh-uh, no, you're fine. Anything? Not much. These might be little. These might be little. Yeah, those are true. I don't see how y'all can see and make a judgment that quick. Well, it's smaller than calling your hands in. Well. <laughs> yeah, these are too little. <laughs> All right, Lulu, watch out. Move that basket. Maybe Eddie. Where do you want it moved to? Like right there. That, that's, is that a stone crab, Michelle? Two stone crab. Okay. Well, that's good. We can show y'all what a stone crab looks like. I know you've been to a restaurant and uh, ordered stone crabs at some point in time. Okay, grab your stone crab and show them. Where's the... They're moving. Uh-huh. <laughs> mo Watch out, no, Lulu. Lulu. Watch out, Lulu. Lulu. Watch out, Lulu. So, Michelle, a while ago, was telling me about uh, she and her family seeing a loggerhead turtle she said she saw the whole body and that is so rare and unusual and i was telling michelle when i was when it was in the 50s night in the 1950s it was nothing to see a turtle my grandmother would uh trap a turtle and make turtle soup for her guest uh but now it's totally different in michelle well, yeah, um, I grew up in the 80s when yeah. I was a child, and we never saw them, um, but the 80s is when they fixed the holes in the shrimp net. The turtles uh -huh. were caught as bycatch in the shrimp nets, um, and so I think that because they have a 30-year maturation to adulthood uh -huh. before they can start laying their nests, that now we're really starting to see the comeback. So they have to be 30 80s. years old before they can mate yes. and produce eggs. Yes and they have a lifespan wow. like 75 to 80 years. So we saw wow. a turtle three different times off the dock this weekend. I tried to get a picture, but I couldn't. Not this dock. This dock this weekend. You you saw uh, yeah. a loggerhead on this dock? Three times, Henry and I saw him. We tried no. to get a picture, but Where we missed him. Where was he? Right out in front. Well, one time we were on the boat and it was a little past Uncle Nick's dock. Uh -huh. And then twice I saw him right out in front of the dock. And one time I saw his oh, whole no. shell. And no. the other two times I just saw his no. head. And that you just don't understand um, how exciting that is, you know, if you don't live near salt water. Oh, listen, <laughs> y'all, I've told this story before, but uh, when I first met Michael, uh, he and Hank had been out crabbing and got a bucket full of crabs. And I was living right there and he called me and said, Hank and I are cooking a ball and some crabs. Would you like some? And I said, yes, I would. Uh, and so I walked over and that's the first time in my life I've ever been full on blue crab. Michael picked every piece of meat and put it in my mouth. And I was a goner. I was a goner. You think I was being romantic, but- I, You was kind of romantical. You, th but, you, th you think that, but the true story is I had to pick for Michelle and and Anthony uh -huh. and eat. So I got like 
three or four times faster than anybody else in picking crabs. <laughs> well, but I was a little romantic. I was gonna then. say, now you just ruined it. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were being romantical. Isn't that pretty? The way the water goes up in that whatever you call that thing. What do you call that thing, y'all? Ditch. Let's call it a cove. Yeah, let's call it a cove. <laughs> Ditch <laughs> doesn't sound that. so good. I don't think it's that cool. So y'all, I lived in that third condominium, right in the middle. And the day that I came out to uh, walk Otis and Sam, they ran this away. And we had never come this way before. They always went to the square. We had a little park in the middle. And they ran, you can see that tabby wall right there. They ran around that wall because they heard somebody talking over in this yard. And I, there's about that much space between the wall and the water. So I shimmied around it. And sure enough, they headed straight to Michael. He was propped on his fence, talking on the, te the telephone. And that's the first time I'd ever made him, met him. And he scared me to death. I apologize to him for the dog pooping in his yard. And I mean, I got out of there. But will y'all notice now that there is a little fence that's been put up that closes that gap. Michael said, I didn't need to meet any more neighbors. <laughs> I think I might move it. You think you might move it? <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> you get me so tickled. <laughs> All right, do you have one more basket? Um, I think that's it, huh, Michelle? Yeah, that was it. Okay. So y'all, this is the deal. Um, we're gonna cook the crab. Did we, did we pull that one up? Because y'all got five. Oh no, we only pulled four up. I, I was gonna say, I didn't, don't remember the fifth one coming up. So we're gonna take these in and we're gonna steam these crabs and then we'll pick them. And then hopefully Michelle will make those two die for crab cakes. <laughs> You in, girl? I'm in. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's see, Michelle. But, Eddie, I need to tell everybody it won't be today because we have to cook them and pick them, which takes time. So, we'll do that in tomorrow's video. <laughs> Loving best dishes, y'all. Happy crabbing. <laughs> so, it's time to pick the crabs, y'all. Look at here. This is my Michelle, favorite part. <laughs> my favorite part. Look how pretty. Oh. Look at it. He's, oh. <laughs> Did it get you? Yes. <laughs> smile. <laughs> I can't smile. <laughs> Ever get tired of Jordan in my life. <laughs> I guess he never gets tired of it, y'all. He don't quit. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.